Hello and welcome to the Grand Line Review, your source for everything One Piece. Today we are going to be taking a closer look at a particular niche group within the series known as Okama. Being a Japanese slang term for transvestite, Okama and One Piece are generally characterized by highly exaggerated male features combined with an incredibly feminine and overwhelmingly joyful attitude. The criteria for this list is fairly simple. A character in the series must exhibit all of the traits I have mentioned above, and seriously it's not hard to tell when somebody is an Okama in One Piece. And just a quick note on pronouns. Some characters on this list are quite vague and fluid with their genders, but for the sake of ease I will be using he to describe them. Also of note is the fact that I won't be mentioning a certain new large Okama character that has recently appeared in the manga, one to avoid spoilers, and two because I can't use manga images in videos. But with that out of the way, let's begin. Welcome to the Top 5 Okama in One Piece. Number 5. Splash and Splatter. We're going to start things off with a two for one because Splash and Splatter are a pair of Okama twins who are incredibly proud of their physique and will almost always be seen flexing. Now you might not recognize these two off the top of your heads but they have actually had a very important part to play in the series. During the Fishman Island arc when Sanji was on the verge of dying of blood loss because you know he's a massive pervert, the Straw Hats were in a tight spot because no mermaid or fishman on the island would willingly give blood to a human. And to add to that, Sanji's blood type also happens to be incredibly rare. Cue Okama to the rest. Splash and Splatter gladly gave their blood to save Sanji's life and proceeded to leave Sanji horrified when he regained consciousness. And furthermore, Splash and Splatter are two rare characters who are actually made better by anime filler, appearing dressed as nurses in one of Sanji's dreams or, well, nightmares I guess. Either way, without these two, we'd have a dead cook. So thank you, Splash and Splatter. Number 4. Caroline. Here we have probably the most ruthless and forceful Okama on this list, in the form of Caroline. While Emporio Evenkov was imprisoned in Impel Down, Caroline acted as the substitute queen of the Kambaka Kingdom on Momo Iro Island. And just like Evenkov, he has the right to refer to the rest of the Okama as candies. In addition to a pink masquerade mask, Caroline shows off long locks of red hair, which combined with the purple dress and knee-high socks evokes a very sort of Jessica Rabbit feel. Though it would if not for that absurdly chiseled jawline. Now just like Splash and Splatter, Caroline has a history with Sanji. When he was sent to Momo Iro Island, Sanji battled Caroline, demanding passage off the island. And well, uh, things didn't quite go as expected, because this fight ended in Caroline putting Sanji in a dress and converting him into a full-time resident of the Kambaka Kingdom. But even if it was pre-time skip Sanji, anybody who can beat him deserves a ton of respect, so Caroline, we Zoro fans salute you forever for tarnishing Sanji's reputation. Number 3. Inazuma. Here we have probably the least extreme case of an Okama character, at least in physicality. Inazuma sports more of an androgynous presence, which makes sense because he frequently switches between genders thanks to the devil fruit powers of Emporio Evenkov, who we all know will be appearing later on this list. But as a result, Inazuma is prepared for all occasions, sporting a long luxurious coat with a bow tie for that little extra hint of class. Oh, and we also can't forget that Inazuma enjoys a fine glass of red, managing to indulge in wine at every available occasion. But it should also be said that when it's time to get serious, Inazuma is straight into action, with masterful use of his devil fruit. Also, Inazuma has a bit of a Harry Potter thing going on with a lightning bolt shaped scar on his head. Don't quite know what that's about. However, Inazuma very effectively embodies the Okama way, being fiercely loyal to both his comrades and himself, which is exactly what lands him in the number three spot. Number two, Bon Clay. Here we have the original One Piece Okama. Bon Clay first appeared as an antagonist during the Alabaster Saga, and unlike most antagonists, his first course of action was to become friends with the Straw Hats. Although it should be stated that neither of them knew who the other was. But Bon Clay was a very unique presence in the series, possessing seemingly unlimited energy, and his attitude was incredibly infectious. It's a shame he was a villain, really. But even after coming into conflict with one another, their friendship was preserved, and Bon Clay helped the Straw Hats escape from the clutches of the Marines at the tail end of the arc. But that's not all this brilliant Okama had to offer the world because he reappeared during the Impel Down arc and displayed the true meaning of friendship when he risked his life to save Luffy and was even willing to sacrifice himself in order to ensure the escape of the other prisoners. But after miraculously surviving an encounter with Magellan, Bon Clay now reigns as the new queen of New Kama Land in the secret level 5.5, ready and waiting for the day to unleash his brilliance upon the world once more. Number 1. Emporio Evenkov 
I highly doubt this week's top spot was a surprise to anybody, but Ivankov truly is the ultimate Okama. As the reigning queen of the Kambaka Kingdom, Ivankov's status as an Okama is next to none, and he is a figure that even seasoned Okama veterans such as Bong Clay look up to. But in addition to his duties as queen, Ivankov is also a high-ranking officer in the Revolutionary Army and constantly pushing for change in this world. And change is a key word when it comes to Ivankov, because he has a very appropriate devil fruit that allows him to literally change the gender of either himself or others so that they can live accordingly to the way they feel at the time. Ivankov is also a Grand Master of New Kama Kenpo, the ultimate in Okama martial arts, and has a level of strength comparable with the upper echelon of combatants within the series. But really, Ivankov is the ultimate Okama in every way, and that is why he will proudly keep his crown and take his rightful place on the throne that is the number one spot on this list. And that pretty much does it for the top 5 Okama in One Piece. If you enjoyed this video, then feel free to like, favorite, or subscribe. And please do comment with your own favorite Okama. This has been the Grand Line Review, and I'll see you next time.